everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply and today we're going to do update 97 and uh, as I always say it's going to be short. Uh, but, um, and I just happened to realize I have my Las Cruces Bulldog shirt on. Went to Gavin's baseball game last night. <clears throat> He's playing for the freshman team, uh, high school team. And uh, they won. They had a doubleheader and won both games, five to two and six to two. Um, and he did pretty good. He played in the second game. But anyways, to get on with this, wearing a crusty uh, BNSF hat because today is a bad hair day. Uh, and yeah, I guess guys have bad hair days because I definitely had it today. But anyway, let's get uh, going here, and you can see what I've got going on on '97. Okay, gang, um, as promised, this is all you're going to see today is this picture right here. Um, as you can see, the turntable and the roundhouse are gone. And um, this is pretty much how this area is going to be laid out. Uh, this track right over here I'm hoping to make into a caboose track. I don't know if it's long enough, but that's what we're going to attempt to do. And if not, the caboose track will become this one over here. There's room for a couple locomotives or three on this one, a couple on this one, maybe three. Uh, there is a raised, uh, one of the uh, pylon raised uh, work, work uh, pits right there next to the uh, machine shop, which is actually going to be my engine house. Um, I have come to the realization that I don't think I can make the... Uh, the doors operational on this thing. Uh, I don't have, first of all, the doors roll up and I have no place for them to roll up to uh, unless I put wooden doors on there, which is possible, but even if I did that I'd have to rot, run rods up from the bottom and I'd have to put a switch machine on them and I can't get under there. It's underneath the, uh, the plywood down below where the air conditioner is there. Um, that's a plywood deck going out over my table saw and stuff. I think you guys already know that. So I can't get in there to put anything in there. So it is what it is. Um, you can see maybe in this, um, let me try and zoom in just a little tiny bit if I can remember which way is zoom. You can see underneath the building there I had to put some styrene underneath to raise it up to the level of the Unitrack piece of Unitrack that goes through the building is a 9 inch piece. All I did was cut out the center of it with a razor saw and then lay it in the building there and super glue the two ends to each end of the building. It, it was really pretty easy to do once you figure out what size styrene you needed and I forgot what size it is. It's not important but it matches the height of the uh, Cato road bed. Now let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. I'll zoom out all the way here. Um, and over in here, you can see a track that goes back there. That's big enough for a couple of locomotives back there. Also, a, a couple of locomotives, four axle locomotives up here, or one steam locomotive. So, I've got a few options there as to whether to where to park locomotives. I've already done a test with my ABA set. And uh, hang on one second. These guys right here, I've run them down through here and around that track right there, underneath the tunnel, of course, and through the loop. The loop turns the train, turns the locomotives around, back up here back into the yard I can switch over to the other track closest to the edge and back into the shop I go or one of those three tracks to the left or I could have stayed on the other track and gone directly into the two tracks uh, on the right hand side of the engine house um, Right now my thinking is that I, I like that and I'm going to paint that building and detail the inside. I've got a bunch of uh, H-beam and I've got a bunch of U-channel. I'm going to put up the walls in there. 
to uh, kind of detail the inside and the roof on that will be removable um, so that I can put the details inside. I took the details out of the existing uh, roundhouse and I'll be installing those details inside of this engine house. Um, of course it's got a boiler room there uh, so they can do some heavy machining and so forth. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. I've, I've got about, um, oh, I don't know, six inches out the back of the building over there, too. Uh, I'll blend that scenery in. And what you, and here's another thing. Let me zoom you in again. I hate to keep zooming you in and out, but let's, if I can explain this by zooming you in. I'll zoom in right here. You can see, if I pan around this a little bit, how uneven the foam is because well, the, two, the, two layers, or the two pieces of foam that I used did not match up once I put it on top of the plywood. So I've had to undercut that with a hot knife. And I think what I'm going to do to try, and you can see all the gaps under the track and so forth, I think what I may do is... Um, I may put some of the uh, paving plaster in there and try and level that up and get the base scenery uh, leveled up using plaster or I may just use hot glue under the track to level the track up and then worry about the scenery when I decide whether I'm going to make a, a concrete uh, if that whole thing is going to be concrete or pavement. I'm kind of liking the idea of pavement on the outside some concrete in front of the building um, but in any event I've got a few ideas there uh, there's a lot of space for locomotives there and they are easy to just run in and run out without having to manage a turntable and as I said turning the locomotives around in the loop is no big deal whatsoever so I'm liking this design the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about right now is if I was to put the camera down here at layout level, I really don't like the way that that smokestack sticks up above the S-bridge. Uh, I think it's a little detracting. I may cut the height of that down some so that at least from my eye level it's uh, taller than the building but a little bit shorter than the bridge. Uh, that's the only thing I see right now that strikes my eye. Uh, none of this stuff right here obviously is permanent right now. Uh, but it will be as soon as I figure out how to level that. Uh, there'll be some of those sightings may have to be shortened up just a hair because I'm going to put bumpers at the end. Uh, aside from that, that's about all I got for you guys tonight. So I hope you enjoyed 97. As I said, it was going to be short, and I hope it was, or I think it is, or I know it is. So there we go. Well, okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed Update 97, and I promised it was going to be short, and it was short. So I hope you didn't get bored on this one. It's, uh, I didn't have much going on. It's a lot of work, but not much to show for it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and as usual, thanks for watching.